Hey, what's up you guys? So today I wanted to just do like a little get ready with me video, I guess. I haven't talked to the camera in a minute, so I'm just going to do my makeup on camera. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to like refresh my face with this Dr. Dennis Gross Hydro Pure Smart Spray. It kind of reminds me of Evian. And I already put moisturizer on before. I'll spray this quick. Did I say this already? I think it, it kind of reminds me of like the Evian spray. It's a nice little refresher. But this one kind of has like um, I guess like a eucalyptus scent. I don't know. It smells kind of minty-ish. But um, then I'm going to put this Prime Time from Bare Minerals Foundation Primer. It's neutralizing because does my face look kind of like red? In areas like I don't even have acne but it's just like red actually I have acne right here but like here there's no like bump or like around my eyes it's like miscolored and stuff I don't know my face is just not good but it's yellow so it's going to combat the redness so yeah I've been loving this lately my sister sent this to me. My one sister sent me like a bunch of makeup and I love this primer so far. It really helps like balance everything out. I don't know if you could tell but does my face look less red to you? <laughs> I don't know. Is my lighting bad? I don't know. But then I'm just going to put on my um typical foundation. I always use my True Match Lumi, of course. I love this. I want to tr I want to try the cushion one because there's no SPF in that. And if it's just like this without the SPF, I will be so freaking happy, dude. And I heard like it's even... I feel like the Lumi cushion's even more full coverage. So I really want to try it out. The only thing that's holding me back is like $15. And I just think that's a bit excessive for a drugstore. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but drugstore just keeps hiking up the prices and it's pissing me off. Pissing me off. But um I'm gonna use my real techniques like miracle sponge or whatever. I love this. I highly recommend it. I actually like this. I came to the conclusion I like this better than my beauty blender. And I loved my beauty blender. I don't know, this is just like softer maybe it's because it's newer than my beauty blender and my beauty blender is getting pretty old but ugh, I forget what I was talking about but um yeah because my camera shut off if you don't know I film on my phone and for whatever reason even if I delete all my apps I don't ever have enough storage so yeah and I was just reviewing the storage or I was just reviewing that last clip. Bitch, I'm sorry for how bad I look. <laughs> I think it's my allergies that are making my eyes look so inflamed, dude. Like, it's so bad. But I'm going to take a little bit of this Infallible in, in the shade 106 Sun Beige. Just a little bit more extra coverage. Anywhere I need it. I just put it randomly on my face. Because this bitch needs to be covered up. This is a bit too dark for me. So my face tends to look 10 shades darker than my body. But I ain't mad at it. Oh, I think I was talking about this beauty blender. Um, or miracle sponge, whatever. I think the sponge is like so much softer in not density or whatever but like the material it's made out of is so much softer like they look so dirty because they are but it's so soft compared to this it's like rougher I don't know I love this I loved it but I love this you know what I'm saying I don't know I definitely recommend it and this is I got two for $11.99, I think, or $10.99, something like that. And one beauty blender is 20 bucks. So, if you want to investigate yourself, like, do you. But, my personal opinion, 
definitely get the Real Techniques one. And this is the NYX HD Concealer in Fair. It's so light, but I kind of like it. And it blend when I use my like setting powder and stuff. It just um, it blends pretty nicely. I like to put it down the bridge of my nose to make it look like I actually have a bridge of my nose because like I have a pretty like swooped in nose. I don't know. I have like absolutely no beak <laughs> or anything. So yeah. Look how light this is. <laughs> oh well. Also another thing with the sponge. I find that it blends out my concealer better and like helps prevent creasing more. I don't know, it might just be in my head, but yeah. I just like it better overall. I love it. The only thing is sometimes I feel like it picks up product that's the one thing but that's with the beauty blender too like I feel like it just takes product off my nose and it pisses me off especially in flash photography dude it looks so bad <laughs> like it looks like my nose is like splotchy it's so annoying but you see how it blended out pretty nice it doesn't look too bright right I think it looks good and then to set it, I just use my Too Faced Cocoa Contour in Light Cocoa. I love this. It's definitely my favorite. Um, if you guys watched Kathleen Lights, I really want to try the RCMA powder. Because it's so cheap and you get so much. But since she talked about it, everyone went out and bought it. Okay, so now I'm just going to set my face with this Bare Minerals Matte Glow Mineral Veil Finishing Powder. Uh, this is the shade... I don't know. I don't know, but my sister sent it to me. I love this, but the only thing is it's so fucking messy, dude. Like, there's a sifter, but it's still so messy. Like, I closed it the other day not even realizing, but it got everywhere. It was so annoying. Ugh, it got uh, everything. I was like, bitch, really? But I'm just putting this, like, buffing it in with a e.l.f. stipple brush. Okay. But the packaging of this is killer. Like, I'd love to just have it, like, sit on my stand. Because look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. <laughs> Next, I'm just going to contour, um, yeah. Just gonna quick, nothing crazy, just do typical contour. Um, when you contour, you want to make sure you blend upward, um, because that will give an effect of your cheekbones, like creating a shadow, you know. So, you don't want to blend downward. Because you want to make those cheekbones snatch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what blush I'm going to use. Hmm. I think I'm just going to use my Lorac Tantalizer as a blush today. I love this product. It's so pretty. And to apply it. Okay. I'm just going to use this e.l.f. Um, blush brush that I actually use to set my under eyes but since it's such a small pan I need a little brush to fit in there see how pretty it is it's just like a nice orangey glow but it's like a not like a not like Milani Luminoso, Luminoso orange it's like I don't know more just bronzy I don't know what kind of look I'm going for. I feel like I just want to go for natural-ish. Natural. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where the brush takes us. And for highlights, hmm, this little baby Becca highlight in opal. And I have to use a fan brush with this because 
it just doesn't work out with me for with me if I use like a dense brush. I'll talk about oh shit. Saw my thing. My camera just like fell. If you guys saw my setup right now, you'd laugh at me. It's so freaking trashy. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna take it on this cheap ass fan brush from e.l.f. and apply it. Can you see it? And the camera mode, right? But yeah. Oh, girl, y'all. You see it? I hope you do. <laughs> My hair looks so rash. Girl. I love highlighter, dude. It makes me so happy. What about on Cupid's bow? Bell and Shin. Down the nose again. And then I think I'm actually gonna take some So Hollywood. Just a little bit higher on the cheekbones. Just to give a little extra glow. And I'm using an e.l.f. concealer brush. Yes. Never too much highlight, right? <laughs> No, the one day Jake told me I looked like I was metal or metallic, so yeah, that's my life. <laughs> I wasn't going to show you do my eyebrows or show you me doing my eyebrows, but fuck it, right? Um, I have like no eyebrows. I don't grow body hair. Like I don't, I think the only time I've ever shaved in my life was my junior prom, which I don't even know why I shaved. Like I think I just wanted to feel like a normal girl which bitch like I don't know why I'm complaining that I don't have body hair but yeah I have like no body hair like look at how thin my eyebrows are so yeah I just basically draw on the ends with my Anastasia dip brow in soft brown using a Sonia Kashuk eyebrow brush and yeah I try not to make like full strokes usually because I like them to look more natural but some days I do do a full stroke and it looks fine but typically I like to just do like little whips wisps um across the brow I don't know I genuinely hate my brows with everything in me but I'm working with what I got you know <laughs> I'm so annoying. Okay, and if I okay, so I did my brows, and then I primed my lids with this I Love Stage by Essence. Um, I don't think this really helps the longevity of the eye shadow, but it does give a nice base, and it will prevent creasing. And then I just set it with the light cocoa from Too Faced. So I'll just bring you forward, because we're going to do our eyes now. Fuck that. This lighting, dude. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could fix it. I don't think there's a way I can. But anyway, it's gonna go my Lorac palettes. I recommend these Lorac palettes. Like they're my favorite as of right now. Like they're so, especially the original one. They're so good for everyday use, and I feel like a lot of people can get use out of them. So I'd recommend them. I'm just trying to fix my lighting. Okay. I think I'm going to just take... I'm going to take a mixture of light brown and nectar on this Sonia Kashuk blending brush. Yeah. I'm just going to put it in my crease. And this is going to be my transition sh shade. So I'm going to like focus it in the crease. And then any excess product and not picking up any more product... I'm just going to like blend it up towards the brow and then kind of down onto the lid. This is just going to really help with blending and make sure everything's nice and seamless and that there's no like blunt harsh edges or anything like that. And I like kind of take it on the sides a little bit. And go like this or if you want you could go like this 
um, to really help make a nice diffused like outer edge you know what I mean so it's nice and diffused and it will nicely go into your brow bone shade that you choose um, yeah <laughs> I feel so dumb like explaining things because I feel like I'm saying it wrong and I feel like I'm like stuttering or something like that but I don't know I hope you get the gist So we're just gonna keep it in the crease and then anything left on the brush we're gonna go like upward and downward and just continue to blend not adding any more product unless you want the crease to look deeper with more dimension it's nice and blended next I think I'm going to take the shade from the Morphe palette. I love, I think I use this like every day. It's this like burnt brown. It's slightly lighter than this one, but I mean, I guess it's slightly the same at the same time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just taking it on this little Revlon blending brush. This is just, I'm just gonna like place it in there and really rock it on the outer portion more so than blending it inward. And I'm going to do the same thing, not take any more excess product, and just blend upward and downward. And again, using the side of the brush to help diffuse everything out. So my camera shut up again, so I'm sorry if I'm a different angle or whatever. But, um... I think what I'm going to do next is just to furthermore blend this out, I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and um, just work it out a little bit more. And then that's good. Now for my brow bone, I think I'm going to take the shade Buttery from the Self Made palette. It's nice and it's nice. I'm just going to put this on with a um, blending brush too. You could put on um, like a shimmer or whatever if you want to highlight there but I just like matte shades there I feel like it helps blend everything out nicely. Just really pretty. Okay next I'll take the shade I guess hot chocolate since I'm in this palette. Um, on the other end of this brush, and we're just going to pack it in the outer V. Nicely deepen it up. And then I'm going to kind of swirl it in so that it really stays right there where I placed it. Because I don't really want it to go inner or I don't really want it to go up anymore. I just want it to be nice, densely packed right on the outer V. So for the lid, I think I'm going to take the shade Rose. It's just a nice um, pink champagne-y rose gold, I guess. I'm just going to place this on the lid with my ring finger. Just going to give a nice densely distributed pigmentation. Does that make sense? Did I use my words correctly? I don't know. Let's blend it out. Pink champagne from the self made palettes again. It's really, really crazy metallic. I really love it. It's like my favorite shade ever. I love it so much. I'm going to put this on the inner corner.
gonna do my liner off camera and then probably my lashes so what I'm gonna use are these kisses lashes but I trimmed I always trim like a little bit off so it's probably like that size I guess you could say and then go down in the deal we go down Just these bad boys. Okay, so this is the final look. Ooh, sexy mama. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna use this um, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Smooth Talker, which is like a pink base gloss with gold reflex. Really pretty. You can probably tell in the camera. And the, or this Butter London gloss, which is essentially the same. It's just lighter with gold the flex as well you can see just more of a peach tone base opposed to moxie's a little bit more pink this still all fine with i think abu dhabi underneath i think that's what i'm gonna do just gonna put this on quick oh yes this is so pretty <laughs> Okay. Now to set, I'm going to sneeze. Um, this NYX Dewy Setting Spray. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm done, guys. My hair looks like a mess. It looks so bad. What the fuck? bad hair day bad hair day for sure okay though but this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this little talk through i feel like it's gonna be hella long but fuck it right um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed once again thank you so much for watching uh if you did and give me a thumbs up comment subscribe to me if you want more of me maybe check out my instagram where i post beauty looks and stuff like that. I'll actually probably post this because I really like it. It's really pretty. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this highlight though, girl. My nose looks wet. Y'all. Yes. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Thank you once again. Bye.